Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107 on, of course, is me, the most energetic entertainer here with my dog, my family. I'm a fan of his music. Ooh, baby. Drake Carr. You got me excited. Don't We've been waiting that. to sit down for this highly requested interview, my dog. How you feeling for all the people who are watching? Let's just give him a background story. Where's Drake Carter from? How'd you get started with music? Let us know. Oh, man. South Jersey, we in the building. Shout out to Philly. You know, we holding it down. Shout out. Uh, I've been doing music since I was a kid. You know, I grew up playing instruments, grew up playing in the drill team, on, you know, on the choir and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I've just been fully involved ever since a youngin'. Gotcha. And in the choir, what, what section? I was playing the flute and stuff ah, like that, okay, clarinet. Okay, okay, okay. I, I had some band experiences. I, I did percussion. Okay, I played, see? So I was in marching band, okay. so I did like the snare drum, I did bass, I did everything basically. So you was right there, right? Having that you. musical sense. That's, I, I can hear it in your music, you know what you're oh. doing. I tried, man, I tried. I just, the music is, it's, I always say it's really the first language, you mm -hmm. feel me? Because you could not know somebody, hear some music, and you just vibe with Connect that person with them automatically. So that's just what it is. How man. big is, you know, generating and creating that sound to like you said when somebody hears drake carter you know where he's from you hear you know your path your plan and how you got to where you are oh man it's, it's major like right now i got a single called drone right now that mm -hmm. i'm pushing crazy and mm -hmm. that's like a big philly term you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i feel like once you let people know where you're from and they gravitate Facts. towards that then they're like all right cool Facts. yeah we, we locked in Facts. they feel like it's another part you feel yeah me? Like, it's a lot more comfortable it's like, i know him we, we had the same type of lingo I, I feel like even down here i come down here i Facts. start saying twin the thing about atlanta is so many people that's not from here so i've caught myself saying john if i'm hanging around some people who i know that's from philly or you know things of that nature um so one of your one of your singles that i personally love Featured uh, by Kerr, shout out Kerr Changes. Yes, Talk about how you came up with that just creative style. I mean, from the hook to the chorus to the specific verses. Take us back to that studio session. Oh, man. Uh, so originally I linked up with my boy Sean Bear. Um, shout out. Shout out Sean Bear. Um, we was in the stew. I hit up my producer, Young Digital. Shout out him. And I was like, yo, I need something that's real gritty, something that's going, I could really talk my story mm -hmm. on. So he sent me that, and I'm like, man, we need somebody dope. Mm -hmm. I hit Core. Core was like, yeah, yeah, let's hard, do it. Hard. So up from there, we just locked in. That's fire. It's been bro ever since, you feel me? That's hard. So, you know, with being in the game, you know, for a minute and putting out such, you know, good music, has there been any notable people that have reached out and been like, you know, man, I'm, I'm rocking with your music? Oh, man, I got a, uh, I got a record co-produced by Illmind on Illmind's album coming out soon, real, real soon. Yeah, that's so. an exclusive, right? That's now. it, it was super exclusive. Chill, chill, don't that's tell fire, no that's fire. But, so, no, nah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that's really it. That's, you know what I mean? We just working. For sure. sure. Philly, I mean, there's so many goats. DJ Drama, Uzi, I mean, Meek Mill. Uh -huh. Where do you rate? Who's your top three rappers from Philly? <sighs> rappers, creators, mm. DJs, talkers. That's a, that's a, that's a tough one. Top I mean, three. You know, we got to put Meek up there. For that's sure, for sure. Big dog. For sure. Um, RIP, PNB. Mm. Got to put PNB up there just Great off the GP. Uh, you gotta say Uzi. I mean, yeah. Uzi, the rock star. Of Philly. So, were were you in Philly around that time when Uzi was was coming oh, yeah, out? Yeah, 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 for sure. And I was right there with him, Tierra, mm -hmm. Core. You feel me? They was all coming around. Coming the same around time. the same time. So, you know, but a lot of people say it took people a second for people to gravitate to Uzi sound and stuff sure. like that. Why do you think that is? Uh, it was different. Mm -hmm. It was different. It's just like how uh, the drill scene is right now. Mm -hmm. It took people a little minute to really like lock in with that. Mm -hmm. It was just something that people weren't used to hearing mm -hmm. so you know philly's known for the bars and everything like that Facts. so you got this kid coming out rock star mentality. right yeah like, oh, what? even myself i'm not gonna lie I was, yeah I was, like, oh, it was a little, a little different, different. Yeah, it was a little different fuck with Uzi. Uzi yeah Uzi. so out of everybody who you've seen in, in that class of growing just through philly rappers and musicians mm -hmm. just how where is the camaraderie in it? Like when you're in Philly, because in Atlanta, it's like everybody knows everybody. A producer went to school with somebody from the east side who knows, went to church with somebody's mom on the south side. Like how is the connectivity up there in Philly um, when it comes to music? I think it, it's good, but it's like everybody's kind of like in a weird competition with each mm -hmm. other. So it's like we just got to lock in like Atlanta kind of, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just everybody look past all the BS and just... Let's get here. We can once one make it through, we all can make it's it come through. Come on, you know pull saying? it through. There's yeah. enough money in it for all of us. Yo, yeah, that, I mean Jersey, we got that problem bad. That's mm -hmm. why we go to Philly. So we try to come over to Philly, lock in with Philly, and mm -hmm. 
Make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Who are some notable people that Drake Carter would want to work with? In the, would want to work with in the future? Oh man, uh, we got Drake, of course. Mm -hmm. The J. Coles, mm -hmm. uh, the K. Dots. Mm -hmm. I mean, producer wise, hitmaker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My, my pop used to fuck with hitmaker back when he was Iceberg. That's hard. So, yeah. So, That's you hard. Know, I'm, trying, I'm trying to make that reconnection. That's hard. A true thought. Uh, psh, man, it's some Timbo, mm. Swizzy. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, yeah, it's just real hip hop head. For sure, man. So, for all of your fans that's watching this interview, what's next for Drake Carter? Like, where, when you leave here, uh -huh. studio sessions, like you said, you know, Ill Mind. Like, what's going on with Drake Carter oh, yeah. musically? We got uh, Digital Dementia about to drop. Um, that's really just a, my project about life, you know what I'm mm. saying? Everybody got focused on the pandemic mm. and money and everything that everybody was making. Mm. So it was like, all right, let's 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 focus back on life so that way you're not focused on the digital side exactly, of everything, you know what exactly. I'm saying? So we got that dropping. It's about to go crazy, man. For sure. Push that crazy. Got For a couple sure. billboards, a couple, you know what I mean? A couple uh -huh. placements coming. So. That's hard. Yeah, that's what we got. So where could you see, like, yourself five, ten years from now musically? I'm trying to be a superstar. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying, yeah. We're trying to go there. With your performances, I'm sure you've had shows before. Oh, yeah. What's the energy that your fans, you know, should expect if they haven't seen Drake Carter perform live? Uh, It's different. Lately, I've been I've been rocking with the bands heavy. Mm. So, like, you know, the, the vibe is just different. Um, mm. I like to talk to the people, get the people really That's involved. Right. You know what I'm saying? Real That's MC right. shit type shit. Who's some of your favorite live performers? Uh, I've seen Cole perform a lot. That's hard. I like Wale. Mm -hmm. Wale's Wale was super dope. I saw I saw Wale. It was an A's walk. Him and Trina, mm -hmm. and he came out to Flower Bomb. I was like, ooh, Bro, Wale that's a cold fire. one. Yeah, uh, Neo, Wale. Neo's fire. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. People, the Mary step. Bro. The Mary, that's iconic. People don't they sleep on Mary. That's iconic. Yeah, Mary's yeah, that's one of my faves. So now, now that we're talking about it, you know, Mary J. Blige was a part of that time when you know music was changing where you know a lot of yeah. people weren't weren't rapping or having that musical flow and dancing and doing like the whole michael jackson chris brown thing For at the sure. same time where do you think music is headed because you know right now TikTok is the wave if you could just get yeah. catch somebody for 15 seconds you got to hit yeah so where do you where do you think music is headed and and how do you think that your style is going to change and, and, and alternate with it um i think music has opened up a very broad, like, you know what I mean, station mm -hmm. for everybody now. Because mm -hmm. it was like, before you had to follow, like, a certain formula mm -hmm. to get where you wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, like we just said, we got J. Cole and him over mm -hmm. here, and Uzi and him over here, mm -hmm. but we all kind of come together as a collective. Exactly. So I just feel like music is going far. You know, you got the kids in Philly going crazy mm -hmm. right now, the two rares in them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's going to stop a lot of the violence, you know Big what I'm saying? Because it, it's... Dancing is fun. Big time. Versus everybody rapping about killing and drilling. Exactly. So, yeah, I think I think it's going far. Hip hop and rap is number one genre right now. That so, it is. It is. Yeah, so we going. Speaking of zero nine three six, talk mm -hmm. about your relationship. That's with, my dog. So how did that collab come about? I mean, just musically, it seems like you guys got like a good chemistry together. Yeah. That's that's a little bro. Like mm -hmm. we we linked up at a a show, twenty. 18, 2017, mm -hmm. and we just been rocking ever since. So that's yeah, that's just bro. Got you, man. Well, look, Dre Carter makes you guys check out his music on all DSPs. Another episode of Not Your Average Podcast. It's not average we, at all. Trying to let average. you know, put you down. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We out.